what up guys and welcome back to thomas reacts here on the 360 experience with myself thomas maba so today we are talking about the african national congress we are talking about the legacy of the anc and we are also looking back at apartheid as we go to 2024 you know that people have been saying a lot of things and right now the video that i'm about to play you where advocate aikumalo clarified what he meant when he said that apartheid was better than the was better than this anc democracy I mean, this is not something that is new. This is something that a lot of, of, of adults in South Africa has been saying. This is, a, a, this is something that a lot of people who, who experienced apartheid are now saying in this ANC democracy. So guys, I have this video that I want to share with you from Advocate Aikumalo when he actually clarifies what he means when he says that apartheid was better than this ANC democracy. So guys, after this video, please tell me on the comment section whether you believe or whether you... Wh whether you agree or whether you don't agree with Advocate Aikumal. Yesterday I was doing the panel show and uh, I mentioned that with the apartheid was better than ANC democracy. Note that ANC democracy. And most people who dispute that are people who are not there. And some of the people they come from the homelands where they were oppressed by their own black people. Someone will tell you that you didn't have electricity, but where were you? Because I can tell you, it was not always rosy, but in the townships which were governed by apartheid administrations, things were better than now. Yes, there was segregation, but if you went into a black hospital, you will find all the necessities. If you went to a black school, you'll find all those things that you needed to find. Let me break it this way. Education. There were schools. Zama Amba. Artism. Technical colleges. Abu Vista. Designated for black people, but it was there. You go to some of the urban, you know, homelands under apartheid, like Abu Natal. You'll find universities. Or Fort Hare. Go to go social move, go to hell. There were you know, facilities, infrastructure. That's why in a township you'll find a qualified plumber, a qualified technician, a qualified electrician, somebody who could fix cars with a certificate, and that person did a proper job, trained for free. Mahala, go hmm? You found those things. At schools, they were everywhere. Go few Bafunda Center. Every township had a hall. Sports stars were produced a lot. Tennis players, cyclists, amakarateka, hmm. movie stars up to international level like Abu Zix Mugai, Ken Gamp, Abu Mira Makeba were produced during a bad date. You go to hospitals like Baragwana General, they produced. There was no shortage of medication. Growth infrastructure. They see in Joyai today produced during apartheid. Hmm. We had our own things. And talking about the infrastructure is crazy because when you look at the roads, you look at our buildings, you look at our bridges, there's nothing new. Everything that we see today, everything that we are using today was built back then. And, and, and these guys in the ANC, in the African National Congress, hasn't done anything. Like guys, our buildings are collapsing, the buildings are collapsing, There's, the roads are collapsing right in front of us. You, you know how many potholes we have on our roads today. The infrastructure is literally collapsing in front of everyone, man. So for people who say that the, the, the ANC democracy is better than apartheid, what is it that the ANC has built? What is it that they have built? Our own humanity, our own churches that we own, where people are not, you know, robbed, made to kiss snakes. We had our own things, businesses, movie theaters, we had those things. And then people who've never lived under apartheid, they will tell you otherwise. People who lived, you know, oppressed by their Bantustant leaders, so you know what I'm talking about. I know apartheid. I've been inside an apartheid jail. Apartheid had shot and fired bullets at me. I know friends who died during apartheid. Schools were proper. Whatever
suffer that white people had, we also had our own. Even though it was not at par. I'm a pools, like about Jake, you know, with the three townships, maybe they are sharing one swimming pool, Olympic size, boxing house, even beer houses, because they need our much. We had those things. <laughs> we had our own Miss Black South Africa. Everything that white people had, we also had. It was separate development. Today it is none. We had jobs. Mm-hmm. We had business people. I'm going to talk about my club. Every township, go keep Kunene. Every township, there was, you know, a tycoon like one. People were driving about Tawa, XJ type, BMW. Unam a coal mines, not coal mines, coal houses, some of houses. We had those things, but things are my life. During a bad date. Much or more son, produced during a bad date, but I don't know big. Um along with the child. What case I'm the womb. They were there owning our teams. It was tough, but we had those things. Houses. Your people were buying houses. There were people who were renting, but they will fix your toilet, your windows, everything. 99 years, this. but after 99 years, you own the house. There were limitations, but in whatever spaces that we found ourselves, we were thriving. Yes, there were poor people, and you would be arrested for not working. Like in any society, now, there are poor people everywhere. Mm? Everywhere. The only people who are driving are politicians and Zionist dogs. Mm-hmm. And then someone's going to tell me, what, you know, what is he talking about? We had electricity, so we to Orlando. Yes, you know, the rollout maybe was not as fast. But people, the Baba's good was at December. Polis Mandan. Mm? It was a Friday. Mm? Nobody, Christmas is not every day. Hmm? Ah, it. We had those things during the era of soup makeup. I go for the coast. Every township under apartheid. Remember, we had four provinces. Nama Bantu stand homelands. And I can tell you, even those Bantu stands, like Abu Putatuana, they were better than now. Abu Kaze then, better than now. Napago hmm? Toyando. Mm, the so-called puppets, they governed this country better than this ANC democracy. When I'm saying apartheid was better than this ANC democracy, I'm not saying it was good, but it was better. Imagine that. And I'm telling you, I will not lose this debate. Even if losing our to pay for your life expenses for the rest of my life, I will take that shot. I'm telling you, apartheid was better than... ANC Democrats, we produced, imported. Today we're buying more from outside. I'm chickens. Obama flooded us with chickens. We're importing toothpicks. We had industries. I were textiles. People were working, creating a We were changed. Things that were built during apartheid. Tamalam Bill Spana, La Pago Passa, Pauvin's an attack. I'm a fate. Yes, maybe salary was not that good, but it was there. We were happy. Hmm? That's why there were few, tiny minority of people who were comrades. Because other people, they were happy. But for my people, Tom, we are my party. I'm a festival. Oh, joy. Glen Labo Concord. It's the same to hand. I remember. And post 76, it was worse. They created the middle class in the township. In the townships. People, you know. Who could worry about bonds and businesses? Maybe not worry much about the struggle. But those people, if you ask them today, what are they better now? What selection park, deep extension, so it. Each and every township, Baba, being a middle class. Infrastructure, I can tell you, department by department. We were happy. Department of Health, Education, Sunda for free. Never met once. Nurses colleges and training colleges for free. Today, it's chaos, Baba. Hmm. Hmm? We've lost everything. And the U 
tell me, Uguti, the ANC democracy is better than apartheid. Ebafit, let us be objective. There's a saying, Uguti, if you belong to a certain school of thought, that should not blind you not to see the importance of other schools. Apartheid guys, everything that they planned, it happened according you know, to their wishes. Let us say to their change, Akiyas, RDP, you know, what people need all the time. Number two, failures, all platforms, economic policies, you know, they don't produce the results and they have to tell them, or you tell us, but these guys are intellectuals. We <laughs> praise them. Apartheid ministers, they were doctors, they were declared. that's why they could dribble these guys at Cordes. Declared came and says, property right, non-negotiable, land, non-negotiable, ANC border, you know, uh, you know, there's so many things, you know, I never talk Finnish, but I can tell you, everything that you're enjoying, including the Tuli House, where it is, the cities were built during apartheid, the industries, the food that we eat, the companies that are employing us today, for Woodworks, these are apartheid companies, we had people with Okalamazu, Oboi Pindombi, Women Hating Brothers, who arts in other fields, space technology, radio technology. Never fit. I was a bachelor man, a bachelor man. Good, apartheid. It was not glorious. It was not hallelujah, but it was better than it. Ah, guys. Guys, please tell me what you think, man. What do you think about what the advocate just said? Yesterday. Because what the advocate is saying is not something new, man. You know my grandmother, before she passed away in 2017, she used to tell me these things. My grandmother used to tell me these things because she, was, she would tell me that, you know, like... I, I look at your friends, I look at you, I look at all these people who are not working. You know, back in apartheid, the apartheid government was never going to allow people to roam around in the streets to do nothing. That's what my grandmother used to say to me. My grandmother used to tell me that back in apartheid, people were working. People were working. This thing of people not working, it, it was new to them. It was new to them. They couldn't believe that someone could go, someone could go to school and come back and not work. That's why the the, the old old people, especially our grandmothers and, and our grandfathers, they believed so much in school because they understood that if you go to school and when you come back, you're gonna have to go to work because that's how things happened. That's how things happened during their times. And I'm not going to say a lot about, and I'm not going to, to disagree with, with, with Advocate Aikumero because I was not there during the apartheid. This is why I want people who were there to, 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 to disagree or, or agree with, with Advocate Aikumero. I don't want anyone who was not there during the apartheid to, to, to tell us how things were. That's why I'm not also one. I, I, that's why I, I myself don't want to comment whether things were better in apartheid or not. But as a young person today, in 2023 in south africa i can tell you that things are not working man things are not working nothing is working in south africa nothing is working in south africa man 60 percent of young people in south africa are not working man millions of young people in this country are not working every day they are roaming around the streets doing nothing we see graduates turning into drug addicts we see graduates, guys, turning into drug addicts right in front, in, right in our townships. That's what we are seeing. We witness these things. People who went to University of Johannesburg, and they are now sitting at home doing nothing with all the qualifications they have. This is why people were so mad at the president a few days back when he did that press conference and said that there's a lack of capacity in the government, and that is the result of apartheid. President Ramaphosa is saying that in South Africa we don't have sufficient engineers, we don't have enough town planners, we don't have enough, and, 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 he, and he blamed apartheid for all of these things. And people were so mad at him, like, Ramaphosa, in 30 years, why didn't you train enough town planners? Why don't you have enough CFOs in government? Why do we even lack capacity in the government? But President Ramaphosa will never tell you that. That is because they are hiring the cadres. They are hiring the cadres and prioritizing the cadres instead of, of prioritizing people who are actually qualified to do the work. But what Advocate Aikumaru is saying today, guys, to me, it is not new. My grandmother used to tell me these things. We would sit down and she would tell me how things used to work and back in apartheid. 
But what I can really remember is when I, it's when she told me that the apartheid government was never gonna allow any young person to to sit around and roam around the streets and doing nothing. So guys, please tell me what you think. Do do you agree with Advocate Aikumaro or do you disagree with Advocate Aikumaro when he said that back in apartheid things were better than the way things are right now in in, in the ANC democracy, man. Honestly, guys, as a young person, I really have to say, I really have to say that things are not working right now in South Africa. Nothing is working in South Africa, man. You look at our education, man. Our education system, man, it, it, man, it's a shame. Our education, our education system, it's a shame, man. Majority of these kids who go to school, they can't even read, they can't even write, but every day they go to school. Every day they go to school, but they can't read, they can't write. They say 30%. Just imagine 30%, man. All you need is 30% to pass. Just imagine out of 10 things, you need to, 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 to get to get three three things right. Then you then you are passing, man. That's how things are right now in South Africa. I mean, it's a shame. You look at our healthcare, man. You look at our infrastructure, just like Advocate Aikumaru said about the infrastructure. I mean, you look at our infrastructure. This is the same infrastructure that, that was built back then in apartheid, man. That's why I said that what is it that this this ANC government has built in South Africa? What is it that they have built, man? So guys, please tell me what you think on the comment section. And don't forget to hit that like button in the most important part, guys. Please subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. My name is Thomas Mabaso and I will see you next time. Bye-bye.